Less than 24 hours after the Nerazzurri's win in London in the International Champions Cup against Tottenham Hotspur on penalties, and it was back to business for Antonio Conte's men, facing off against Serie D outfit Processo at the Suning Training Centre on Monday morning. The test against Processo was also an opportunity to give playing time to those who didn't feature against Spurs, including Lautaro Martinez. The Inter forward didn't need long to leave his mark. El Toro showing all his class to give the Nerazzurri the lead with a thunderbolt from distance. A goal to the good, Inter started to find their groove. Matteo Politano, who played the entire second half against Spurs the day prior, showed he's put his recent thigh injury well and truly behind him. The Italian's well-placed effort leaving the Processo goalkeeper with no chance. And it wasn't long before the Processo shot stopper was picking the ball out of his net once again. This time Matthias Vecino on the score sheet. The midfielder proving he's well on his way to full fitness after reporting back for pre-season later than most teammates after his exertions at the Coppa America. Politano involved again, this time going from scorer to provider. Inter's quality shone through and Federico Di Marco was desperately unlucky not to add another. On loan at Parma last season, the Italian appeared eager to build on his display in the win against Spurs, in which he more than played his part, scoring in the shootout. For his part, Cuado Asamoah didn't travel to London, having only recently returned to pre-season after his commitments with Ghana at the Africa Cup of Nations. His teasing ball caused all sorts of problems inside the processed or penalty area, with Inter again coming close to stretching their lead further. But it wasn't long before Inter did get another. Politano beating the offside trap, timing his pass to perfection to an incoming Martinez. The Argentine ace made no mistakes to bag his second. Now at the other end, Daniele Padelli was often reduced to a mere spectator, but when he was called into action, he responded present. That wasn't a situation that the Processo goalkeeper could enjoy, however, and he had to be at his best to palm away a stinging strike from Vecino, just like Martinez, eager to stake his claim for a starting berth this weekend away to Spanish outfit Valencia. When talking of Lautaro, he showed he was not happy to settle with just two goals, as he latched onto a pinpoint pass from Ranocchia. Moments later, the Argentina international was at it again with a drilled strike from range. Lautaro then showed his predatory instincts, very nearly capitalising on a mix-up at the back, earning his side a corner kick. The pressure was relentless, and the visitors were fortunate to limit the damage before the half-time whistle. The scoreline 4-0 at the break to the Nerazzurri. Inter started the second half as they finished the first, pinning their opponents back in their own half. Martinez continuing to spearhead the attack for Conte's men. The Nerazzurri kept on peppering the process to goal with chance after chance. Di Marco, after coming so close in the first half, truly unlucky to hit the wrong side of the netting, following a dangerous ball in from Asamoa. It was, however, only a matter of time before Inter found the back of the net, and Martinez, after all his efforts, got his just rewards, netting his hat-trick. The Nerazzurri hitman the quickest to pounce after the Processo goalie failed to deal with a scorching strike from the edge of the area. Having survived the onslaught and soaked up the pressure, the visitors sought to hit back, and they did manage to claw a goal back. Padelli, despite his best efforts, unable to get a touch on a curling strike. The Intergoli was called into action again moments later, this time stopping a powerful but central effort. Rossesto closed out the game on the front foot, but it was Inter running out 5-1 winners and starting the week that leads up to the Valencia match in perfect fashion.